up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode 2 of Boku Dake Ga Inamachi. Now, with last week's review, I started thinking. Started thinking a lot. So I decided to review the anime as in, from an anime perspective, since you know I am a manga reader, I'm gonna do the whole reviewing of the actual episode in the beginning half of my review, and then the later half of the review, I'm gonna give my perspective as a manga reader. So then we have the best of both worlds. And I am so happy that a lot of you ended up checking out the manga, or a lot of you manga readers ended up finding me so that we could just all share our pain. However, A1 Pictures, you did a good job today, not gonna lie. The pacing, pacing was pretty dang good, I'm not gonna lie, okay? Definitely much better. And for those people who might think that this episode was really slow, dude, dude, you don't know what's gonna happen next. You don't know. You're not prepared. Like, you're not prepared for the greatness that is about to come. So you're gonna want these episodes. Episodes like this, you're gonna want. Okay, because you're not, you're not prepared. You're not, you're not prepared. All right. So very happy with the pacing of this episode. Anyway, so let me get down to reviewing this actual episode, shall we? So we left off last week with uh, Satoru and how he went back in time over to 1988, back over in elementary school. And so he was, uh, he doesn't, his memory's a little faint, obviously it makes sense. I mean, it's been 18 years. So, you know, he didn't remember about his friend's rules to the secret hideout. He didn't remember where his desk was and things like that. But he did end up remembering like his friends. So that was pretty cool, okay? And anime only watchers, let me know how you think about Kenya, okay? I want to know how you think about Kenya, the the smart guy, okay? He was the blonde one pointing out some interesting things to Satoru. Just, just let me know what you think of him, all right? Kenya. Okay, and we get to meet Hina Zuki, the girl who, according to Satoru, but you know, when, when like last week's episode and stuff, he said that she was the first one to get kidnapped and murdered eventually. So very sad. And we see a bruise on her thigh. And drawing some conclusions, Satru ends up figuring out what he has to do in order to change the future. And that is to save Hina Zuki. Now, of course, we don't know if he has to completely change the future by not only saving Hina Zuki, but saving like other people, things like that. If he has to relive the next 18 years, we don't know that just yet. But for now, the main goal is to save Hina Zuki. So he's trying to be friends with her, invited her over to a birthday party, and I want you guys to notice something here, okay? Anime onlys. Satoru's personality as a child with Satoru's personality as an adult, okay? There is a huge difference. So I really want you to pay attention to that and notice the character development going on over there. Since you know Satoru, he's not very social in the... Well, it's not really present. It takes place in 2006. So, you know, over when he's an adult, he's not very social or anything like that. He had, he had you know, those awkward conversations with um, the girl, uh, Arai. So, yeah, pay, pay attention to that. Good, good, good stuff. All right. So, how did you guys think about the mom? Isn't it great to see her? I love her so much. Okay, it was just great. See her once again. Uh, great. great. Great job with the episode. I'm not gonna lie. So now I'm going to talk about this episode from my manga reader perspective. So all you anime onlys, leave now. All right, manga readers. What'd you guys think of this episode? To me, I personally really enjoyed it. And I really, really loved how they did Kenya and, and with Kenya's character and everything. That, that was just great, because I love Kenya. He is literally best boy. He is like the greatest boy, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Kenya's amazing. So I'm really glad they totally nailed his character. Now, uh, Mongreas, if you saw my beginning half of the review, which I assume you did, then you probably remember about me talking about the character development with Satoru, uh, how he's, when he's an adult, to how he's acting right now as a child. Well, 
still, even though the character development is going to be nice, it's, I still think it would have been fantastic if they actually nailed Satoru's personality within the first episode. You know how he's angry. He, they, they didn't capture the angry and depressing side of him. They just made him seem like a Dandere, and he's not. He's much more than a Dandere, okay? So I'm still, that, I'm still pretty mad about that. That's got to be the biggest uh, flaw with this adaptation is that they completely messed up Satoru's character, but I'm guess I'm gonna have to live with that anyway. So, manga readers, I only read up to chapter 23 as of this moment. That's when the kids, they're all in the car, and uh, they, they find, the, like, not the car, they're all in a bus, and they find, like, a bag and what, what they're looking inside and stuff. I'm, I'm in the middle of chapter 23 at the moment. I have a pretty good idea who the killer is. I, I, I'm almost positive it's the teacher. I'm almost positive it's him. <laughs> All right. Uh, but anyway, I really liked how they did with uh, Satoru, how, you know, what, what he's thinking, he ends up saying what he's thinking. So I thought they did that pretty well. Uh, that, 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 was, that was great. That was great. <laughs> so I'm very happy with this episode. I'm pretty sure the pacing will be pretty solid from here on out. Hopefully I didn't just jinx that, but honestly how they did this episode with the pacing was great, so I don't think we need to worry from here on out. So yeah, catch you later as a review Assassination Classroom Season 2, Degashi Kashi, depending when the subtitles come out, and Girls Beyond the Wasteland, depending when it comes out, because it's supposed to come out today, but it's heavily delayed, so I don't know what's going on! I don't know what's going on. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.